Hi, my name is Jerry Sheena. I'm, I'm an uh, interior Salish artist. I was uh, a member of the Upper Nicola Band. I've, I grew up on the West Coast here for most of my life. I was introduced to carving when I was young, but I didn't start carving till I was about 25. So I've been doing it now for about 32 years. It's a welcome figure. It's uh, done in uh, the Coast Sailor style. It it's, uh, symbolizes uh, the welcoming of students and faculty who come into the, to the school grounds here. We also made her holding a salmon so that she also welcomes the salmon as they come up the river here. Figures were carved in the old days by the Coast Salish. It was sort of the Coast Salish thing. So basically I'm putting Coast Salish design and form line in it. We use chainsaw in the beginning to make, you know, some major cuts. And we use hand chisels, hammer, mallet, um, and traditional carving tools. Well, red cedar is uh, considered the, the, the tree of life on the West Coast for many reasons, the bark, that is on the surface of the red cedar is used for so many things, rope, baskets, mats, clothes. I've always put salmon in my work and to be able to actually represent a, a First Nations community, um, the school, because I like to bring attention to the salmon because of their plight you know, we're overfishing, we're putting so much uh, stress on, this, on, on, on them, yeah. and they're so important to everybody, you know, not only just humans, they're important to the, the trees themselves, uh, the, the fish fertilize the ground, the animals that uh, rely on the salmon every year to feast on uh, in the rivers and stuff, so it's what I, what's, what, what I feel passionate about. I grew up in mainstream society. I was never like raised around traditional art form. So in my 32 years and carving, being an urban native, um, I have had to combine the contemporary with traditional styles because you still have to honor the traditional style one way or another. It's, it's an identity, it's like a, it's like a mark birthmark. 